want to convert your speech into text and use that text as a subtitle in your videos and post that video to the video hosting services like YouTube, Facebook, Dailymotion, etc. and make your videos to reach a wide range of audience on the internet and get the more visibility of your videos. So in this video, I will be telling you how can you convert the speech into text in an easy way. So first of all, you have to open the notepad and you have to open the on screen keyboard and after that you have to press the microphone on the on screen keyboard so the windows dictation program will open so before that you have to open the you have to click in the notepad so the and you have to give your voice the background and it is converting our speech into text so this was the sample and it is running fine and we can do the same with different approach so we have to again open the notepad and we have to open the windows dictation program by opening by pressing the windows icon plus h as a h as in hotel and the windows dictation program so will open so this is the windows default dictation program which convert speech to text so it is doing a decent job and we can use it so this was the demo for that and it was working as expected so you can also turn on voice typing launcher and auto punctuation after that we have audio cable driver software through which we can convert the speech into text so first of all we have to change the cable input and cable output in the playback and recording section so here we have to change this cable input and cable output so i will be telling you what the cable input and output is so let me first proceed to the website so this is the web website for downloading this driver and virtually there are two cables so here it is mentioned virtual cable is a virtual audio device working as a virtual audio cable all audio coming in the cable input is simply forwarded to the cable output so the cable input is taking all the audio from your video or podcast and feeding to the cable output so this is what it is virtually doing in the system so you can get the idea how this software or the cables are working through this website so let me give you the demo for that so first we have to snap two windows and we have to open again the notepad and we have to press the windows icon plus h key so that we the windows extension program will use this virtual cable internally so here is a demo for that in july 2021 mark zuckerberg staked facebook's future on the metaverse to prove he was serious, he renamed the company Meta and promised to spend billions of dollars to rebuild a metaverse platform. He isn't alone. Other companies are also working on their plans for the metaverse, the expected next iteration of the internet. The metaverse is difficult to define. It's usually described as online spaces where people socialize, work, and play as avatars, digital representations of their identities. Unlike a Zoom chat, the spaces don't disappear when you're done. They're there for someone else to use. Though it's often name-checked in the tech world, the metaverse is still a fuzzy idea. Now you got the idea what the metaverse is. So the last option is converting the speech into text is through the Google document. So we have to set, we have to again set the audio input and audio output. So in the recording section, in the playback section, we have to set the speaker and in the recording we have to get, we have to set the stereo mix. So stereo mix is the, like it will record all the audio coming from the systems. So we have to set that and we have to open the Google document in the favorite browser. So let me open that. So we have to type talk.new and it will open the Google document for you and after that we have to go to the tools and there is an option voice typing under this tab you have to click on that and once we have clicked so a small microphone icon will be appearing so we can set the language as per our choice so there are a bunch of languages here Once we have set the language, we have to click on this icon click to speak. So let me again snap the two windows so that I can show you side by side what is 
which is why regulators will no doubt be keeping an eye on how the technology progresses. But the companies here in Barcelona have placed their bets on the metaverse's promise with a wide range of demos on display. From SK Telecom's 4D metaverse ride, to an augmented reality demo from Qualcomm that allowed you to swat virtual insects. It was actually kind of fun. One tech firm called Unity is trying to put sports fans in the middle of the action. But what else? So that's all. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And you can also consider subscribing my channel so that you won't miss any future videos here on tech And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.